Hi everybody, we are coming to you from the world famous Marsh Walk at Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Right behind me is a big boardwalk area with all the nightlife and the great seafood and the stand up paddle boards and kayaks and charter boats. It's where all the family fun happens here around Merle's Inlet. But if you know me very well, you know we're here for the fishing and fishing we will go. Glad you're with us. It's going to be an action packed next half hour from South Carolina Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That is a fish. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> it's time for the only program that brings you real time fishing reports from the Southeast region every week. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Woo. This is Let's Fish. Hi everybody, I'm so glad you've joined us for this week's episode. I think we've got some fantastic speckled trout fishing action coming up in the next half hour. We are coming to you from one of my favorite fishing hotspots on the East Coast. We're coming to you from the Atlantic side of things this week at Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. It's a fun place to bring the entire family lots to do here, but of course, we're here for the fishing. And we've also brought along the Dream Machine. This is the Blazer Bay 2420 GTS. It's custom rigged out by Jared Poole and his team at Waypoint Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas. It's got all the toys, all the goodies. It's a fun boat to fish out of. And we're gonna be staying this week at the Inlet Sports Lodge. It is a fantastic place located right on the main drag just off the boardwalk here at Merle's Inlet. We're gonna show you more about that later as well. While we're out fishing today, we're gonna to be with Captain Inglis Glover. He lives on these waters, fishes here all the time, and he's gonna put us on some of his favorite trout fishing hotspots. And we're gonna be taking you around your local region for this week's fishing reports from our expert team of insider reporters from lakes, rivers, and bays right where you live, both fresh and salt water. So right now, let's get this whole thing started by taking you back for your weekend planner to our studios. Hello, these lunar tables are predicting fair game fish activity throughout both days this weekend. Peak game fish activity begins before the sunrise at 4.08 on Saturday and 5.09 Sunday morning. Best daytime action will begin at 4.44 on Saturday and 5.44 Sunday afternoon. Depending on your area, the sun will rise around 6.36 and set around 8.36 and evenings will feature a moon that is just 9% visible. Stay with us, we've got fishing reports from across the area on the way. Plus, I'll return with catfishing expert Chad Ferguson on this week's Ask the Pro feature. Back in a bit. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Motor Guides Tour Pro, Cable Steer Motor with GPS Anchor, Waypoint Marine, the Gulf Coast's leading saltwater boating specialist, Strike King, Taiwan On, and by Low Boats. Welcome to Low Country. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Where'd you go, Barry? Look at this, dude. Woo! What did we do? First bobber down. Look here. First one. First one. You First set one. Set the hook. Got him. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, that. <laughs> First drift, I don't think, buddy. I don't think that's a little one either. First drift. This could be a red. I don't think that's a little one. It he, might be. He hadn't jumped. He has not jumped. Hey everybody, we made it out, and we are at Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. With it my, is great to have you with here. With my good buddy Inglis Glover back here. You folks that to watch the Southeast version of our show see Inglis each and every week and we are on his home water and it's one of my favorite places to come. We love having you here. And uh, we're out here on a windy cloudy kind of a day and we're drifting some live shrimp under a, a float in the current. And we're gonna see what happens here. Th this is really acting like a redfish. I don't know what it could be because he has not jumped not one time. <laughs> there he comes up. Oh, look at that trout. Look that at the trout. size of that trout. Big old trout, look at here. Look at the size of gonna, that trout. I'm not gonna horse him or anything yet. Look at this. Look at that. 
Look at there, Barry. Gator trout. I told you I wouldn't let you down. The gator trout, first thing. There we go. Great old big boy. Hold, hold the net for me and I'm going to pick I him up it. out of there. Look at the size of that big old. Oh my Where'd goodness. Where'd you go, Barry? Look at this, dude. Woo! What did we do, baby? Huh. Yeah. I like when you drive across the country and come spend time with me. What a gorgeous <laughs> fish. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna let this fish get back in the water. And away she goes. Oh my heavens, dude. Literally, I, I mean, like it when it starts I out am like that. Not making this up, folks. We literally just got here, just baited up, got the got the trolling motor down, holding us in the current, put the first shrimp on under a slip bobber peeled it back in that current and the bobber went down the very first thing and a giant trout hit first. English, tell us a little bit about the trout fishery here at Merle's Inlet. We're known for big trout. We're what, five miles long and only about two miles wide, all salt water, no fresh water, no brackish coming in. It's a, 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 a big hot point for big trout. We're known for catching three, four, five pound trout. You'll, you can go out and catch 10 fish and have an average of that size. Right now in the summer months, it's just, just, just incredible for some real big fish. I'm from Texas and you know, we, we do catch a few big trout down yeah, around do. Port Mansfield, but man, they they're, seem like they're bigger here and more of them. It's just incredible. Hey folks, it's time for your Carolinas Report. This week brought to you by Crazy Sister Marina, the leader in the water sports along the Grand Strand. Visit crazysistermarina.com to find out more information on how to book your trip on one of our many charter boats, including the New Inlet Princess, one of the most productive head boats you're gonna find on the East Coast. Visit crazysistermarina.com. We'll take care of making you live like a local on our waters. We'll talk about our waters. We're gonna stay here this week. Not only are the trout biting really good, but along the beach, we're starting to see some of the signs of hypoxia. It's an oxygen deprivation where that water temperature has shot up so quick over the last couple weeks. Those flounder right now are stacking up on the beach. Head out to one of your local piers, fish in the breakers. They're up there targeting that oxygenated water where those waves roll over and create a little bit extra oxygen in that water and you can catch some incredible trout and flounder right now up in the breakers. This has been your Carolinas Report brought to you by Crazy Sister Marina. Remember, fish smarter, not harder, and keep your chaos organized. Bobber down, bobber down, bobber down. Got I it. can't even get baited Got up. It. Look at you. All right. That's a good hard pull. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, baby, that's a good hard pull. I am so impressed with the trout fishery here. And English, you said really the trout fisher here is a little underfished. People underfished. don't really fish for trout so much here. They, here's the thing, you know they're they're gonna they're gonna concentrate a lot on them in October, November, and December. But it's the rest of the year where they really don't spend a lot of time on them. Oh, that's another good one there. Well, look at him going the other way. Uh, just a, that's just a two pounder. That's a small yep, that's one. That's a for two me. pounder. That's a little one. That's a little one for me. Now you don't go on to catching them the size I catch. But but you said really people don't don't really pound the fishery for trout. They don't they don't get fished as hard as the flounder do. Exactly, here. and I, I I I tell you I give a lot of credit to the charter guys here, who don't want to target them on different times of the years where they're going to be mostly full of eggs and spawning. They don't want to tar target them uh, for the simple reason of trying to take them out of the fishery. You know they they want to leave them in the leave them in the fishery and most charters want something to eat when they come fishing, you know? Well, we're, we're not. No, we're not, we're letting them eat. go. We're letting these nice quality fish go, just like that. And- uh, Good job, Captain. You there, there are 48 charter captains right here <laughs> in Merle's Inlet. That's right. That's what you said. So your, your opportunities for going fishing out here are limitless. He lives literally two blocks <laughs> from the boat ramp. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more fishing tips, how-to videos, big fish catches, and full episodes of our Let's Fish TV show, be sure to subscribe right here to our YouTube channel. You can also like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. Good fishing out there. Got one? Yeah, this is a nice one, Barry. You Finally. didn't even say you had a fish on, dude. I know, I know.
Well, he took my breath away. <laughs> he took my breath away. All right. You know, well, I've been watching you really in all these good fish. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah. This you think one. it is? Yeah. I, I, I like when they, I like when they want to go the other way. You know what? I play your net, man. Welcome back, everybody. We are on English Glover's home water right here, and you won't believe this. English is our reporter that covers the Carolinas for Let's Fish TV. He lives literally two blocks <laughs> from the boat ramp right here at Merle's Inlet, and he gets to do this kind of thing. This is a, this is a great place for not just trout like we're catching today, but you guys catch everything here. Flounder. Okay, here he comes. That's good trout. I mean, he's nothing like yours. But he's a good fat one. We'll oh. get lead him in the there net. We go. There we go. Right here. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Barry. We're talking about, you know. Look at this. This is just a good average size Merle's Inlet trout right here. That is. And he's a good one. And we offer, we do have so many different species here. Uh, incredible numbers of flounder being caught right now. You and I were talking about that. Now, Incredible the, numbers. So we got a flounder fishery here. We'll, we'll show you this fish and we'll turn him loose. And then uh, I, I want to get you to talk me through all okay. the opportunities that there are here. Um, so inshore, you've got flounder, speckled trout, redfish, the typical inshore fish. Black drum, incredible here. We got a great black drum fishery. Sheephead? Sheep's head too. We spent, you know, target those in the wintertime around docks and stuff for most, most parts. Then you go offshore and what are your opportunities there? King mackerel, Spanish mackerel, uh, cobia. You know, all summer long you'll have a great chances at cobia. Uh, you've got uh, flounder on the near shore reefs. Obviously dolphin, wahoo, mahi-mahi, I mean tuna. Wow, just incredible. Everything. Everything right here. That's what you have in the opportunity right here at Merle's Inlet. You live in the, I keep telling you dude, you live in the dream world. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Tennessee, Mississippi and Alabama Fishing Report. This week's report is brought to you by TH Marine. Every week you hear me brag about them and let me tell you why because every product they make is made to make your life easier on the water. Recreational fishing, a pleasure boating, or serious tournament fishing, they've got the tools to get the job done and make you glad you've got TH Marine products on your boat. Check them out at thmarine.com. Hey guys, it is summertime in this part of the world. It is hot. Um, we're gonna talk night fishing for a second. Uh, Mississippi, I'm going night fishing and I'm going to Bay Springs. There ain't no doubt about it. That clear water, clear water lakes are just the best at night. And spotted bass really bite good at night and that lake has got a pile of big ones in it. Uh, you're gonna go throw a big spinner bait with a Colorado blade, drag a black and blue jig around, throw a big worm. But the thing is attraction and you need things that thump and have a lot of surface area to make vibration in the water. In Alabama, I'm going to Smith Lake because they got big spots in clear water too and they bite like crazy there. The same baits. And you can go crank a square bill around the lighted docks on the lower end of Smith Lake and get your arm broke. It is a blast. In Tennessee, going to Center Hill. Center Hill is my, one of my favorite night fishing lakes ever. And then you're gonna go catch some giant small mouth, some big large mouth and the occasional big spot there too. Get after it. We'd love to see you here. God bless. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Bobby Garland Crappie Baits and the original Baby Shad and new slab Huntar Minnow. Glacier Glove. Stay outdoors longer with our gloves, hats, and shades. Balls Out. Made in the USA. Heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. And by Camus Boats. Tomorrow's tournament boat today. Real, real, real. There he is. Man, I'm having a good time doing this. These are, these are solid, healthy trout. Watch this. My bobber just went under. Take up the slack, reel, reel, reel. There he is. In that current. There you go. We are fishing this tide, <laughs> and we are on the rising tide. In fact, quickly, I'll show you on your uh, Lawrence HDS unit. You can actually get the tide table for the day and for where you are. And so there's our tide right there. And you can see we're right on the rising tide, which is perfect. We've got our trolling motor, anchor locked down. And we're just sitting in one spot and we're letting our bait drift down this shoreline and up against kind of a reef back there. That's oh yeah, a that's one. a little bit better. Here we there. go. Than the last one. Uh-huh. 
Boy, he is fighting. You sure are keeping me busy. Look at there. Good one. There fat go. one. Look how fat yep. that trout is. Good grief. Got it? Yep. And then we're going to pick him up. Look at that. Oh, he is. He is lively. Look how, look how, look at the width of these fish this way. They are so healthy and fat. <laughs> and we're doing a good job, too, of just catching them right inside the mouth with these trebles, and the treble comes right out, no problem. Man, I'm having a good time doing this. These are, these are solid, healthy trout. What's the limit here, and the, the length limit, and the bag limit? 15 inches, 10 per person. Well, that would be way over 15 inches. Oh yeah. And you could catch, keep 10 of those a day, which is a very liberal limit here of these good trout, and from what I'm seeing, there are just so many of them here that uh, you could come here and catch your limit of them and they would eat really, really well. Well, the Sun Belt is running its name these days, but the fishing is bright and sunny too. I have all the details right after this word from our good friends at Foreshore Transportation. Foreshore Transportation, the simple solution to all your freight hauling needs. Foreshore can ship freight across the country or across the state. Whatever the load, wherever the destination, Foreshore gets it done fast, safe, and hassle-free. Over in Alabama, the dawn uh, fishing for spotted sea trout has been really very, very good, and they're still catching some very good-sized fish. Uh, the early morning fishing is about uh, best done with topwater plugs, cover a lot of water till you find them. Uh, red fishing also has been good in that Alabama area, in and around uh, Mobile Bay. Uh, the reds are taking uh, a lot, all kinds of different baits, but if you want to avoid catfish, instead of using shrimp, Try using uh, mullet and mud minnows. Over in uh, Mississippi, Big King mackerel in the 20 to 30 pound class are being caught around the oil and gas rigs offshore. They're taking trolled uh, live baits. Captain Devin Weaver out of Biloxi uh, says this is a prime time for uh, buoy uh, cobia. He says the hotter the weather, the better. In Georgia, off St. Simons Island, incoming tides have been good for flounder. Lots of small fish. You got to kind of wade through those to catch some good ones. But there are some, the five pounds being caught. Well, that's it for the fishing along the southeast coast. Get out in the water and take a youngster with you when you go. There we go. You got a fish? You got fish on. Fish on. All right, English Glover. There we go. My and man has got him. Is it trout? Feels like a trout. Feels like a trout, and it doesn't feel like one of the good ones you've been catching. Got him. There we go. All right. Another good solid. Yep. Fat dude right there. <laughs> that one would eat good. That Hooked one would right eat good. Right in the corner of the mouth. We'll show him. Get him back in the water real quick. All right. English, you mentioned that uh, there are how many charter captains 40, and guides? 48 that we know of. And we sat down and had four of us just kind of counting up. 48 different Guides charters. and charter captains here. So if you want to come here and do this, uh, there's lots of opportunity to do it, and uh, how would we'd folks love to do have that? you at Crazy Sister Marina? Visit CrazySisterMarina.com. Check out all our charters inshore, offshore, near shore. We've got the head boats for you. Anything you we'll work with your price range and get you out there, and it's year round. We got great fishing year round. You bet. So if you wanna if you wanna give them a call, book yourself a guide trip. Come catch some of these trout, just like we're catching right here. That's Let right, go, buddy. Get me in. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lorance, America's number one fish finder, Lose, Feel the Difference, and by Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Get our free fishing guide at orangebeach.com. Welcome back everyone. Let's get right to your Ask the Pro question for this week. Devin wants to know, should I use two hooks for catfish? For an answer, we asked catfishing expert, Chad Ferguson. In most cases, using a single hook is gonna be your best bet. One liter, one hook. The exception to that is gonna be if you're fishing for trophy catfish or a larger catfish and you're using really big baits. 
oftentimes what'll happen is the fish will bite, pull down, and then they'll let go. Those are what we call short strikes. If you're getting tons of short strikes over and over with those big baits, then a great option is to add a second hook, but on the same leader, similar to this Whisker Seeker Tackle Black Mamba Catfish Rig that I have here. This has two hooks on it, a larger and a smaller, and both hooks go in the same bait. So you're gonna put the bottom hook in the bottom of the bait, the top hook in the top of the bait, and that will help when you're getting those short strikes. Thank you, Chad, for that information. If you want some help from one of the pros, simply go to letsfishtv.com and follow the Ask the Pro link to submit your very own question. Now it's time to find out who wins this week's Big Catch of the Week. Hey everybody, we've made it back to the boat ramp at Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, and it's time for someone to get their big fish shown on television in the Big Catch of the Week contest. Here's this week's winner. He's Jaime Ratliff of Abingdon, Virginia, with a 7.73 pound smallmouth bass at South Holston Lake in Tennessee. If you'd like to have a chance for you and your big fish to be shown on our show, just go to our Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Let's Fish TV. Go to last Tuesday's post. It's about the big catch of the week. Follow the instructions. Be sure and send us all the details about your catch along with your photo. As far as the gear goes, a rig that we used to catch the speckled trout this week with the slip bobber, the weight, that entire float rig on the Lose Inshore Speed Stick and Speed Spin spinning rod and reel combo. Great inshore rig. If you've never seen it before, you need to check it out. It's the blue colored rig on your retail tackle store shelf. Two other pieces of gear that I love. One of them's on my Blazer Bay 2420 GTS. This is the Sport Top that Waypoint Marine out of Corpus Christi, Texas custom rigs on their boats. It's positioned where all of the shade comes in behind the console. So if you want to stand up on the front deck and make big long casts with a topwater, you won't be in danger of hooking that sport top. The other critical piece of gear is on the transom. It's the power poles. Anytime you're fishing these marshes and fishing in shallow water like we do most of the time, those power poles come in so handy. You just grab your remote control or the button on your console, put those poles down. With two poles, you can keep the boat facing the same direction and keep making repeated casts over and over. And that was critical today. Earlier this year, I had the privilege of taking two very special guys in my life fishing. My dad is now 84 years old and my uncle is 80 years old. These were the two men who were the most influential in my early life in teaching me how to fish. They instilled a desire in me more than 50 years ago that lives on even today. Getting to watch them catch bass in my boat was a very rewarding thrill. It did take some patience, but it was worth every minute of it. So here's the takeaway. If someone taught you how to fish and they're still around today, why don't you take a day and take them fishing? It'll mean more than you'll ever know to them and it might be one of the most fun things you'll do all year long. If you would like to come here to Merle's Inlet, South Carolina and experience some of the incredible fishing here for the big trout like we caught or the flounder or go offshore for those species, you need to experience the Inlet Sports Lodge. It's where we stay when we come here. First of all, the location is fantastic. It's right near the Marsh Walk, all the great restaurants, everything you could want is right almost within walking distance right on Business 17 on the main drag. But even more important than that, it is so comfortable and well appointed. The lobby is fantastic. There is great food right next door. Really, it is a wonderful place and great people to work with. Check it out at the contact information you see on your screen. Book yourself a room and come experience the great fishing here at Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. I'm Barry Stokes, until next week, be safe, have fun. Let's fish everybody, bye bye y'all. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more fishing tips, how-to videos, 
big fish catches and full episodes of our Let's Fish TV show, be sure to subscribe right here to our YouTube channel. You can also like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. Good fishing out there.